quadratic equation a train traveling at a uniform speed for a distance of 360 km would have taken 48 minutes less to travel the same distance if speed were 5 km per hour more than its original speed find the original speed of the train it is given that a train which is traveling at a uniform speed for a distance of 360 km when it increases its speed by 5 km per hour then the time taken for the journey is 48 minute less to the previous time taken then we have to find the original speed of the train that is we have to find the original speed of the train so we must use the original speed of the train as the quadratic variable for forming the quadratic equation that is let x km per hour be the original average speed of the train then if it increases its speed which is equal to x plus 5 km per hour note that speed equal to distance by time then if time is taken to left side and speed to the right we will get the equation related to time and which is time equal to distance by speed this equation is going to form the time taken to travel when the speed is x km per hour that is t1 equal to 360 by x hours that is the distance 360 by the speed x km per hour which is the t1 now if it increases the speed the time taken for the journey is given by t2 equal to 360 by x plus 5 hours and here note that the time taken for the journey is 48 minutes less when the speed increases this will act as a bridge between t1 and t2 because the difference in time is 48 minutes when it increases the speed therefore we can write t1 minus t2 equal to 48 and solve the quadratic equation after forming therefore we can write t1 minus t2 equal to 48 minutes since the unit is in kilometer per hour 48 minutes can be changed in change into 48 by 60 hours we are taking t1 at first because when the speed increases time taken for the journey decreases that is the time taken for the journey when the speed is x is more compared to the time taken for the journey when the speed is increased by 5 units now by applying the values of t1 and t2 we will get 360 by x minus 360 by x plus 5 equal to 48 by 60 now collecting all the denominator and multiplying each term by the denominators we will get x into x plus 5 into 
into 360 by x will cancel x in the numerator and x in the denominator and x plus 5 into 60 into 360 will remain in the first term. Similarly, by multiplying into 360 by x plus 5 will cancel x plus 5 in the numerator and x plus 5 in the denominator. 360 into 60x will remain in the second term. By multiplying this term in, by, into 48 by 60, will cancel 60 in the numerator and denominator and 48x into x plus 5 will remain. Now, by expanding it, we will get 2160x plus 108000 minus 2160x equal to 48x square plus 240x. We can cancel the 2160x and it minus 2160x in the both terms. Now we get 10800 equal to 48x square plus 240x. By taking 108000 to the right side, we will get 4 square plus 240x minus 108000 equal to 0. Now we have 48x square plus 240x minus 108000 equal to 0. Now 48 is common to, to the three terms. On dividing by 48 we will get x square plus 5x minus 2250 equal to 0. Now note that here the sum of numbers equal to 5 and the product of numbers equal to minus 2250. And we are going to use the splitting the middle term to solve this quadratic equation. And also note that if you need you can solve the quadratic equation more easily by the factorization method. But now I am using the splitting the middle term method in this equation. Now, the numbers whose product is minus 2250 and their sum is 5 are 50 and minus 45. That is 50 plus minus 45 equal to 5 and 50 minus in 50 multiplied it with 45 minus 45 equal to minus 2250. And we are using these numbers to split the middle term 5x. That is 5x is splitted as 50x minus 45x. That is x square plus 50x minus 45x minus 2250 equals to 0. Now consider the first two terms x square and plus 50x. And the next two term minus 45x minus 2250. The x is common in the first two terms. Taking x outside, we will get x into x plus 50. And minus 45 is common to next two terms. And taking minus 45 outside, we will get minus 45 into x plus 50 equals to 0. We are taking minus 45 because to get x plus 50 in the both terms so that we can take it outside. Now x plus 50 is common to the both terms and we will take x plus 50 outside and we will get an equation such that x plus 50 into x minus 45 equal to 0. Now by using the formula if a b equal to 0 then either a equal to 0 
or b equal to 0, we will get either x plus 50 equal to 0, that is x equal to minus 50, and x minus 45 equal to 0, that is x equal to 45. Since it is related to speed x minus 50, that is a negative quantity which is not possible. So, we will take the original average speed of the train equal to 45 km per hour.